Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to today's edition of Intuitive Angling. Really appreciate you guys uh, swinging by the channel, checking out today's video. Always grateful for that. Guys, today we're gonna be talking about the biggest reality that most bass anglers don't wanna accept. Um, there's actually quite a few of them, but I wanna address the number one reality that most bass anglers uh, just refuse to accept in today's video. Be curious to get your guys' feedback on that as well. Also guys, a big thank you out there to everybody that has been helping the channel out by subscribing to the channel. We've had some really, we've had, we've had more channel growth the last month than we have like the last year and a half. So thank you very much to everybody that's been hitting that subscribe button. And also thank you very much for everybody that's been purchasing your uh, fishing tackle through my Tackle Warehouse affiliate link in the description of each video. That's uh, really been helping me and my family out a lot. So I really appreciate that. Okay guys, I'm gonna tell you what it is and then I'm gonna explain a little bit about the uh, uh, biggest reality that people don't wanna accept about bass fishing. And that is that bass fishing is not about catching bass. Um, catching bass is a bonus to what bass fishing really is. And I wanna get into that a little bit. And it sort of ties in, well, we're gonna tie this in a little bit to why I'm so adamant about you know being anti-technology in today's video. If you guys have, um, studied or read about fishing much at all especially from like some of the the old philosophers in fishing like you know zane gray and ernest hemingway and you know some of the 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 real old school fishermen out there that were fishing 100 years ago one of the common threads that they talk about a lot is the fact that fishing is not about catching fish it's about so much more than that i mean catching fish is nice and it's a bonus to everything but if you're one of those people out there that go fishing with the sole intention of just jacking as many fish as you can and trying to see how many bites that you can get and trying to just focus on just, you know, whacking them all day long, you are living on a surface. You're not, you're not diving deeper into the underlying picture of what fishing is really about and the true gift and the true value of fishing. That's sort of what I wanted to get into a little bit. Fishing is, you know, it's, when we're talking about fishing, I'm talking about recreational fishing. You know, fishing, you know, in its purest form was meant to be a food source. I mean, that's what, you know, Native Americans, indigenous people, you know, they fish to survive, obviously. But it wasn't until, you know, probably 100, 100 and some years ago that people started pursuing fishing as a recreational pastime because once they started delving into it, they started understanding the the deeper therapeutic healing properties that fishing has to our human experience, to our human souls. And one of the things that I found out about my channel and talking about a little bit is I realized that there's 20, there's probably about 20% of the bass fishing population out there that they just don't get it. I mean, I can talk about stuff like this and it just doesn't register with them. It's sort of like, it's sort of like ex explaining some type of quantum physics equation to somebody that doesn't even know how to add or subtract. It doesn't, it doesn't register in their mind. So there's 20% of the people out there that when we talk about the aesthetic intrinsic healing properties of fishing, they don't get that. They don't, that doesn't, it doesn't make any sense to them. It's like a foreign language. And they're just out there to catch as many fish as they possibly can. And those are generally the pro, you know, balls to the wall technology type people. That's from my experience, that what I've found. One of the things I wanna share with you guys here is if you sort of had a paradigm shift, if you're one of those anglers out there that has not really taken the time to delve into the deeper meaning of fishing, I'd like to invite you to do that because that is, that is where you're gonna find the, the deepest connection to fish and the fishing is through what I'm talking about here. If you go out fishing and it's like you, you have this internal shift with inside of you that when you get out there on the water and you begin to fish and you begin to experience being on the water, if you see that in a different light, if you, if you start looking at that light, like when you go to the lake and if you're wading the creek or if you're walking the pond bank or if you're putting your boat in the water or whatever, one of the first things that you really need to do is take a moment to absorb, absorb just nature, everything about it out there. It doesn't matter where you're fishing out there, even in some type of urban environment, if you're on the water, you still have some type of a connection to the, to the, na the natural world out there. Some of it is more intense than others. Say for example, if you're fishing, it lay, if you're fishing, you know, up in one of the remote canyons up in Lake Mead, there is a connection that, uh, 
is unique to itself that is not the same as if you're fishing next to a dog food plant on Lake Wheeler in Alabama. There's, it's just a different thing, but nevertheless, even fishing by that dog food plant at Lake Wheeler, you still have that connection to nature that you're not going to get on any other on any other level out there. Another aspect about it is when you're talking about um, this this whole thing about what people are missing out on, it's the fact that one of the most powerful aspects of fishing, and one of the things that it draws the people to fishing more than anything else is that wonder and of the unknown, the mystery of the unknown. That is what makes fishing super powerful if you allow it to be. If you try to approach fishing by doing everything that you can to remove the unknown from, from your day on the water, you are taking away all the value. It's like pulling out all the vitamins and minerals out of a good meal. You know, if you try to do that, you, you simply cannot do that. You've got to you have got to maintain that connectedness and the groundedness to the natural world when you're on the water out there. And, you know, one of the best ways that you can do that is like to simplify everything. It's like, I've always felt that the best way to fish and the best way to experience fish, fishing on the purest level, is by being close to the fish and the, the techniques that require you to be close to the fish. Flipping, pitching, throwing a topwater plug, throwing a crankbait, pitching a spinnerbait or a chatterbait up along a lay down log, something like that. When you are connected to the fish on that intimate of a level where you have to be sneaky and stealthy and you have to be a stalker to some extent out there and you don't really know what's out there, that is when you sort of maximize that full experience in fishing out there. Because to me, it's like one of the one of the most powerful, you know, aspects of fishing is like when I put my boat out on the water, I don't know what I'm going to, I don't know what I'm going to experience because I don't know what's out there. I can speculate what's out there. I can, you know, I can have some type of a basic idea, but when I pull back in a creek arm or something like that, and I start picking through some lay down trees or fishing some secondary points or, you know, coming up to some boat docks out there, I don't know what's there. I mean, I can put together my intellectual experience and everything I know about bass fishing to determine if it's a high percentage that I'm going to catch a fish, but nevertheless, I don't know what's out there. And that creates this, that creates a shift within inside of your body that begins this whole, you know, healing process, the therapeutic process that I'm talking about is part of it. And if you go out there, and instead of like picking your way through those lay downs or fishing that row boat docks or something like that, instead of like fishing to find fish, if you go through there and turn your scope on or your electronics or whatever, roll through there and if you don't see anything, just move on, you have completely denied the reality of what fishing is all about by doing that. That is almost like an insult to the fish out there. And one of the one of the problems I have with the pro technology crowd out there today is they have this mentality that um, the more that we know about bass is better and we want to know as much as we, we can about bass and we want to prove all these theories and experiences we've had in the past is wrong guys that is a messed up way of looking at it out there it's like once you take away that once you take away that magical that mystical part of anything out there you diminish the value of it tremendously. And that is one of the reasons I'm so adamant about this whole technology thing, aside from all the sustainability and everything else we talk about, is it simply robs people from the true experience of what fishing is. And I think one of the greatest things that, that parents can do to kids when they're coming up is to introduce them to fishing from that perspective introduce them to the fishing from that healing, therapeutic, wonderment, unknown, magical, mystical approach of it out there. If you do that, your children are gonna maximize their experience on the water. But if you rob them from that, by basically thrust, putting them in a $100,000 bass boat and turning on a video game screen, they don't, they don't experience any of that. They're, 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 they become like, sort of like aliens on a, on a on a planet somewhere that can't survive or they can't sustain, sustain, sustain themselves without some type of a lifeline. So from that standpoint, uh, you know, 
that is one of the biggest denials of reality that I see. That is the biggest denial of reality I see is that people think that fishing is about catching fish. And yeah, everybody likes to catch fish out there. There's no doubt. And that is part of it. And you can, you can incorporate that. You can incorporate becoming a more knowledgeable, more balanced, more successful angler, but you don't have to um, diminish the sport in the process. You don't have to take away from the sport in the process. You can still do that and maintain the integrity of the sport. It's, um, that's one of the reasons I really admire trout fishermen, guys, because trout fishermen have, they have more of a purist attitude when it comes to fishing as about any angler group that I, that I see out there. And I think one of the important things is, is as a tournament angler, tournament angling in its, just in its nature, you know, alone, it's very, it, it's very easy to lose that connection and that, and that simplicity simply by the nature of the sport, the way it is. So I think it's even more important for tournament anglers to be grounded in that reality that fishing is not about catching fish. It's about the process leading up to that. You know, it's about the primalness of it. Fishing is a very primal sport out there. And when you take that primal sport away from it, Again, you diminish what the sport is. You devalue the sport. You devalue the bass. And um, I don't want to know everything. I'll tell you guys right out now. I write about it. I do not know. I do not want to know everything about bass. I don't want to know everything that's going on in the lake. I don't want to know where every fish is. I don't want to. I don't want to be. I don't want to turn on an electronic unit and scope out in the middle of a creek and know where every fish is out there. That ruins it for me. That's that's like somebody you know, telling me what your Christmas present was before you could even open it up. That's, there's no difference in it out there. And I know a lot of you guys get that. I mean, because I get a lot of reinforcement from my, my position on this. And I just want to encourage everybody out there that doesn't get that to sort of reevaluate your position on it. I know it's difficult to do. You probably don't want to do it. You probably think I'm full of crap for even bringing it up. But um, in the bigger picture, I think, and probably you know, 15 or 20 years, a lot of people that are all gung-ho on this technology are going to look back after what they've seen, the uh, the devastation that is that is brought upon the sport. And they're going to say, man, those guys back 20 years ago that were railing against all this technology, they were right. Those guys were smarter than what we thought they were. I, I really believe that. So anyway, guys, just uh, if you want to get the most out of the sport, I'll give you guys a good piece of advice here. You can take it or leave it. Um, you don't need to know everything. You don't want to know everything out there. Those, remember that. You don't need to and you don't want to know everything about bass because you ruin it if you do. Put your time, put your effort into concentrating on understanding seasonal movements, patterns, you know, angles, fish mood and fish personality that you accumulate through your fishing experience. Not, not that knowledge or that information that you're getting from an from an artificial source, from a piece of electronic technology. That's like cheating on a test or something out there. It is, it's like using crib notes on a test. You are going to be much more fulfilled as an angler. You're gonna be much more centered as an angler. If you learn about fishing through fishing, through your own experiences in fishing, and this is what takes time. And this is why in the past, before technology took over the sport, the better anglers were always the ones that had more experience simply because it required that and it, which it doesn't now because forward facing sonar and all that technology in my opinion is just like cheating on a test in the bigger picture out there and just because something's legal doesn't mean that it's right we've seen a lot of stuff in this country that had been legal at one point that had been made illegal after people woke up and saw the the, uh, the, the detrimental effects that it has to certain groups and society out there, this is gonna be no different with it. It's just taken longer than what most people think. It's the same with, you know, we used to spray DDT, you know, insecticides all over our crops until we figured out it was killing eagles all over the place, but people still did it all the time and didn't think anything about it until it got almost, you know, to the point where they were extinct over it, sort of the same way with this deal. So anyway, guys, point of the video is, um, you don't need to know, man. Just keep it simple. You know, approach fishing from the the point of where the the point of power that it has as a therapeutic, healing, holistic, you know, you know, endeavor that you get into. 
Don't get locked into everything that pulls you away from that because it's fake, it's artificial, it's sterile, it's clinical. It doesn't have anything to do with fishing, what fishing is about. And as you grow as a fisherman, as your years pass as an angler, you will be able to absorb that and for it's that's the best way to put it that you that all of the healing and therapeutic value that comes with fishing comes from what I'm talking about. It comes through the, from, from that more you know primal, primitive, natural approach to fishing. That's what strengthens you inside as a person, as an angler. Because in a in the in the pure state of it, fishing, you will learn so much about yourself. You will experience almost every emotion known as a human being through fishing if you do it long enough. And every time that you try to diminish that natural process, you're just basically hurting yourself with that. So anyway, guys, just remember that next time you're out there, it's like, uh, I'll leave you with a quote from Zane Gray, who's all over Johnny Morse's Bass uh, Pro, his uh, Wonders of Wildlife. He's got quotes all over it. Zane was says, if, if, if I just went fishing to catch fish, I would have stopped fishing long ago. That is what it's all about with it. So don't get caught up. Don't get locked into getting out there and think you gotta jack them all the time and just find as many fish as you can. You know, it's fun to catch fish, but it's also more rewarding, you know, to, to get the more powerful aspects of it. So hope you guys are well, talk later.